Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic which is on default users in SAP. So whenever you install an SAP system, there are users which are created in it. So they are called as the default users. So as they are the default users, the passwords are also default passwords. So they are pretty dangerous because everyone will be knowing their passwords and if we just leave them open as it is, people will be able to get into the system, can be able to misuse the system. So it's very important we should identify and change those passwords. So basically these are the key users. So first is SAP star. SAP star it's a super user and it has a default password which is for new client it is pass and for the existing client that is triple zero 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 one and zero six six so this is the default password for SAP star then there is another user called early watch so early watch it's basically a dialogue user for the early watch service and this is there in the client zero six six its password is support then there is a very important user called DDIC, that is DDIC, which is mainly used for the software logistics and ABAP, that is for software logistics, it's a super user as well, which has most of the privileges, and it's in client 00 and 001. This is the default password for that user. Okay, now a report, we can run the report to make sure that the default password for the standard user is changed or not or it is having an initial password okay so let's run this report basically for running the report we need to go to a t-code called SE38 or SE38 and we can run the report called RSR USR003 okay so just let's get into the system and run this report Okay, so on running the report, you'll see this type of screen. So let's get into the system first. So basically, this is your one of the screen. Let's go to the screen where we have uh, the SAP Easy Access. Okay, now let's go to the T code called SC38 or SC38, and let's run this program called RSR. USR003 Okay, so this is the program Okay, so basically we are running this program RS USR003 Okay, so let's go to this program and let's execute this Okay, now we are at this program and this is basically the button to execute it. So let's execute this. Okay, so it's generating a report. Basically, check the password for standard users in all client. Okay, we can give it uh, the format, the layout, whatever layout we want. Okay, then we can just click on execute. So now it will show you a report. Okay, so basically what we are going to see, we are going to see a report similar to this one. Basically here you can see the in client 000 you have these users which is DDIC is exist, password is not trivial, SAP star DDIC, SAP star it's not locked, it exists and password not trivial. Same thing goes for SAP CPIC exist password not trivial but for TMS EDM here you can see password password is well known but it's locked okay so here you can see in client 00 these are the users okay then in client 001 okay so we have DDIC user we have SAP star we have SAP CPIC and TMS EDM which is not there Okay, then in 00066, we have these users. Okay, and client 400, we have these four users. 
okay so sap star it doesn't exist log on is possible with password pass okay so basically this shows that what is the critical or what is the key things that you need to fix on this particular report okay so this report will help to identify the default passwords whether they are changed or not okay so that is about this particular report that i wanted to show you guys how this report works okay we have seen okay these are basically the default parameters okay so we will see this how to generate these default parameters so let's go back and let's go back one more step okay so you have seen this uh, the default users the users which are locked the default users and the users for which the passwords are not changed so the action can be taken accordingly and this issue can be fixed before it becomes compromised thanks for joining and have a nice day bye bye